What's up, everybody? We're back again. It's it's a little bit of an impromptu uh, dad bod short. That's what I've titled this, a dad bod shorts uh, type interview. Uh, got a new friend, uh, Mark McKay, singer songwriter from Nashville. The cool, cool thing about Mark, he's going to be at Bunkers. You know, we love Bunkers. He's going to be at Bunkers this weekend. Uh, and we're going to talk a little bit about what he's got going on, a little bit of golf stuff uh, between us. And then uh, I'm going to give him some Auburn tips. Like he, this is going to be his first trip to Auburn. So, uh, Mark, how's it going? I mean, Mark, how's it going, man? Yeah, man. Good. Thanks for having me. And uh, I'm, I'm excited about the weekend. I'm, I'm excited to see Auburn and and uh, all good, man. Yeah. So tell us uh, tell us what the schedule is this weekend. I think we're going to put this show up on Thursday. It's Thursday, the first night you're going to be you're going to be performing at Bunkers. Yeah, man. So we're going to do Thursday and Friday and Saturday night. Uh, oh, we're all weekend. Seven. Yep, all weekend. We're going to play from 7 to 10. And um, we, you know, if, if you've ever seen my show before, we we tend to just go wherever anyone's in the mood for us to go. So I'm, every night will be different. I've never written a set list in my life. And that's what makes it fun. Absolutely. Absolutely. And and I feel like Bunkers is going to be a, a it's going to be a fun atmosphere in general because you're going to have the simulators going. You're going to have the SEC basketball tournament going in, in the so background. Killer. And then you're going to have Mark absolutely killing it. Uh, so you've never been to Auburn before. So you're, no. you're, you're a Cali guy, right? California. Well, I am originally, I live in Nashville now and it's just, it's crazy. It's like, it's, it's just one of those towns that between following college football and friends that, you know, it's just, it's, it's just wild that I've never been there. I, I feel like I've spent time in every town in the United States and somehow yeah. Alabama and a little bit of Florida too. Like I, I just, I feel like there are places that I still have a lot to explore. So you give me some tips on what I need to see while I'm there. I got three days to kill, man. Absolutely, absolutely. So, number one, you're going to be shocked uh, if the weather's good. Auburn, per like per capita, has some of the best golf. Like, it has to be for a small town in the country. I mean, we have like three private clubs, uh, uh, a public track uh, off the uh, our Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail that that's unreal, and then obviously you got bunkers. So, you got to get some golf in. Yeah, uh, I know you're a golfer. You got to get some golf in while you're while you're in town. Yeah, I'm stoked. It was. It's funny too. We were just on tour with Gary Allen. We play a lot with him, and he's yeah. he's a big golfer. And one of the things I love about touring with him is we normally just golf during the day and um, and and then play at night. But it's funny. Uh, he he has an unwritten rule, just like I do, which is uh, when it's too cold or too hot, we're out. And unfortunately, we were up in Cleveland and in Indiana, oh. and the weather just wasn't cooperating, man. So I'm I'm ready. <laughs> that is. That is the big that is the big plus of, about golf in the, in the state of Alabama, especially Auburn. I, don't, I just don't feel like it ever gets too cold and it doesn't I mean, it can get too hot. But especially right now, it's starting to green up everywhere. It's uh, I mean, the, the weather today was absolutely unreal. I mean, it was like 55, 60 degrees, not Best a lot ever. of wind. Uh, and I think it's supposed to be like that for uh, for several days. So you're hitting it. You're hitting it. Perfect. If we can dodge some thunderstorms and stuff on Friday. You're hitting it at, at at a prime time, right. so I hope I hope you uh, hope you get to get out. Uh, oh yeah, a little bit and uh, you know explore a little bit. Auburn's like a it's like a big small town, so you, you got it's like not too big, but you got not too small at the same time. A lot of stuff to do. So um, it's funny here. you say that. I feel like everything. Yeah, I, I guess that's exactly how I kind of imagined it. So I'm just yeah. I'm stoked to see it. And I, I guess it's also weird too. Like I, I used to play a ton of golf actually, like as as sort of. Uh, a lot of people make fun of me for saying this out loud, but I was actually the captain of my high school golf team. It was kind oh, of nice. my whole, it was my whole life for four years. <laughs> and um, I feel like I'm, I'm better at it and, and I sleep better at night since I don't take it as seriously, but I do, you know, once you take it seriously at that level for a certain amount of time, you always take it seriously. And I just, sure. I feel like I'm around so many people that are just so into golf and I, I just, I don't know how I've never played there, man. It's your, your podcast is firing me up. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you'll have to catch. We, we, we talk a lot about different golf courses and, 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 and we play we play a lot all over the place. But for you, like you probably you have the advantage. You get to travel a lot more uh, than than I than the average guy. So like, what are some of like you know some of the coolest courses around the country that you've gotten to play that, that would kind of uh, make you sort of you know get get well, fired I've, up? So I I have played a ton around the country. I played this, but it's it's so weird how a lot of them don't necessarily stick out to me the same way a few of them do. Like for one, yeah. growing up in California, I've played all those courses on the 17 mile drive and Poppy Hills. Yeah. I haven't played Pebble Beach, but that's certainly that that world of of golf is very special. Um, and 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 then I just played a couple of courses down in Florida at the Sandestin Resort over New oh, Year's. Yeah. And uh, that was that was some great golf too. The weather the weather cooperated with me then, and that was awesome. Um, you know, and which it's funny, ones? Like, I just I played which ones in Destin. Here. 
if you don't mind me asking, which ones in Destin did you play? Like Santa Rosa Country Club? I, no, uh, I played Bay, I played Baytown, and I played. Nice. Um, gosh, I'm going to blank on the other name, but it's in that same resort. They'll help the me. Raven. Out. There's the there, Raven. There you go. The Raven. The Raven. Yeah. That was the other one. And I yeah. love that course. Actually, that was. There, you know, it's, there, it's weird. there's some like, great golf down there. It's probably. It's it's probably the way every golfer that used to take it outrageously seriously that now plays plays serious, but but you can you can just not lose sleep at night when you don't have a good round, you know. But For I feel sure. like courses like that that are a little bit more forgiving. I just <laughs> yeah. I hate, nothing drives me more nuts than when I play a course and I just barely miss my drive a little to the right and I'm just OB lost the ball. You know, I, I like when they're a little bit open and spacious and it's cool. That was, it was Baytown. Uh, uh, the Raven was like that, you know, but yeah. uh, anyway, I've got to play a lot of cool courses, man. I, that's, I, 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 it's cool. What a, what a cool, like getting the whole day to kind of go, go chill, go sightsee. And then you get to go do what you love uh, at night. Uh, if you don't like tight courses, I would say avoid Auburn University Club. It's it's where we play. It's it is a very tight. They just had. Oh my a gosh, dude! It's so funny you say that. So I I played. I we played an official like sanctioned fraternity event at the University of Georgia a couple of years yeah. ago, and a couple of the kids that that played at Georgia were like, "Man, you got to come play the course with us tomorrow." And that course was amazing, but that 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 kicked my ass. And they were mind blowing to me Play playing with those kids. I couldn't believe how far they can freaking hit the ball every time. Oh, yeah. So straight. Oh, oh, of course, of course. So tell yep. us uh, enough about golf. Tell yep. us about Mark McKay. What you got? What all you got going on? I know. I, I looked at your bio. You've opened for just the big, the, the the best of the best, the biggest of the big. So tell us what you got going on. And thanks, uh, brother man. Yeah, we, tell us about you. Yeah, we so we signed our first record. I mean, we've been touring for a long time. Like we've said a couple times now, we started in California. We're one of those bands that we just played in bars until we were good enough to play in casinos and then good enough to play at festivals. And yeah. all of a sudden one day an agent calls and says, can you go on tour with this band? And I've been really lucky in my life, man. We've, we've played the Ryman in Nashville. We played Red Rocks in Colorado. Um, mm. If you read my bio, everybody from Tim McGraw and Blake Shelton on the countryside to Ario Speedwagon, Richie Sambora, 38 special on the rock side. I, I wow. really straddle country and rock right down the middle, but um, we signed our, first record deal last summer with universal music group. And so we're just in the process of starting to release a lot of that stuff. Um, and, and, and we just, we have a big year ahead of us. And, uh, you know, when this came about, I, I met, I met Wes over at bunkers and, uh, yeah. when, when this came about, it, we were just at one of the, it was just one of these perfect timing things. Like in March, things haven't gotten totally crazy yet. And the idea to come down and, and, and I should mention that I was about to say to come down and just play some acoustic shows, which is what we're doing. But the guy who's coming with me actually plays guitar with the Alan Parsons project. And he's just mind blowing oh, wow. to watch play guitar. Oh, I mean, he's, it's, it's unbelievable. So it, it'll be fun. I want to come just to hear him do the Bulls intro theme. Like, just play that. <laughs> just do that. I know that's not necessarily guitar, but surely he's got to have some sort of oh, part yeah. in that. That's my. That's like one of the most epic pump yeah, up songs ever. So yeah. that that that's really cool. I got a I got a question just in general. So like, when you're getting started, like when you're when you're we're trying to kind of make it to where you are today. When you go do shows and, and you're playing bars and stuff like that, is it? Like, what's the mix of? Because I know you want to play covers because people like covers, but also like you want to get your 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 original stuff in too. So, like, how do you go about that mix and like finding that balance of like, you know, giving playing a little bit of cover stuff and then you know in your style and then mixing in your your original stuff. Like, how does that how does that whole balance work? That's a really great question and a, and a good one to ask. I'll, I'll keep it as brief as I can because it's a yeah. it's a it's an answer that can waver, you know. Sure, but. It's a, it's a little different for me now, only because I'm a professional songwriter. Most yeah. of the time we play, we're out, we're doing 45 minutes or an hour in front of a headliner. It's pretty much all original music. Original stuff right? now, yeah. But but go back in time to where we started, and really it's all covers. I mean, I think, yeah. I think when you're playing in Vegas at two in the morning, nobody at that stage in the game cares about your original music. They care about you. They care right, about right. liking you. And, I, and it always blows my mind how uh, once in a while we'll be playing a show in the middle of some random town in Montana and someone will come up and say, man, I saw you at Toby Keith's bar in Vegas in 2015 or something, you know? And yeah, but, you know, so th the answer to your question is that it's all about making the crowd enjoy what they're doing. And part of the reason I love shows like this is that we can just play whatever the heck we feel like playing, love you know, it. and it, it, it almost feels like a vacation up there, you know, but really it's whatever anyone's in the mood for. And Hey, sometimes when you're first getting going, like, like literally on Thursday or Friday night, I don't know. I've never played there, but you know, sometimes when things are just getting going, People want to hear your original music. Maybe sometimes sure. they want to hear it at the end too. Who cares? But it's whatever it is, you know. You just got to do whatever they want. 
Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, we're all looking forward to you getting here. I hope you don't have like a long term lease on or, or, or a mortgage on, on where you live because you might fall in love with Auburn when you get here. It's not that far of a drive to Nashville I love uh, that. in general. So uh, uh, I hope you I hope you enjoy it when you get here. I hope you get to play some golf. I hope you love bunkers. Bunkers is like our Looks favorite amazing. hangout. My son asked me every single day, Dad, can we go to bunkers? Dad, That's can so we cool. go to bunkers? Uh, it's a fun, fun environment. I think you're going to love it. And I think it's going to fit well with, with what you do and, and what they, the vision of what they want to do. And it's just going to be a fun weekend. So uh, I look forward to meeting you. Hopefully I'll get to be in there. I'll probably drop my possibly uh Friday evening or, or Saturday or something like that and uh, say hello. Yeah, but uh, again, thanks for jumping on. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but uh, Thursday, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, seven to 10. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, seven to ten. Come catch Mark. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun and play some simulators, watch some basketball, and then listen Can't to some wait. great, great music. So, God, it's gonna be uh, amazing. Thanks, Mark, dude. Again, thanks, dude, and uh, we'll catch you soon. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Appreciate it. All right. Bye.